malaria is widespread throughout most of sub-Saharan Africa. Doctors in these regions often do not have the equipment to test patients and confirm a malaria diagnosis. Instead, anyone with a recurring fever is presumed to have malaria and is treated with anti-malarial medication. A research group led by Dr. Tom Schwann from the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases believes that some of these people may not have malaria. Through an agreement with the Malian government, Dr. Schwann's team is seeking evidence of tick-borne relapsing fever as a cause of disease. Some people in Mali who have a recurrent high fever could actually have tick-borne relapsing fever rather than malaria. And if people are getting relapsing fever and don't have malaria, then they need to be treated with a different type of medication. Many people in Mali live in villages without electricity or running water. Most perform agricultural work, such as harvesting rice, millet, and cotton. Shea nuts are also harvested and crushed for use in cosmetics. The research team travels from the capital city of Bamako to many rural villages, such as Saromba. There, they aim to learn more about the prevalence of relapsing fever in the village. They plan to trap rodents that may have the disease-causing bacterium. But first, Dr. Schwann must seek permission from the village elders. Rodents commingle with village residents. This close proximity provides the ticks with humans as a source for a blood meal. This bite may result in the transfer of relapsing fever spirochetes to a human. Traps are set in hopes of catching rodents. Their efforts have paid off. This trapping session is a success. Two. Hey. All right. Dr. Schwann's group examines the rodents to identify their species. The researchers also collect blood samples and relevant tissue samples from the animals. In Mali, what we have found is that animals, wild animals, specifically rodents and shrews, which are the source of the bacterium, we found them to be infected. The specimens are stored for shipping to the team's lab in the United States, where testing for the presence of the relapsing fever bacterium takes place. Though relapsing fever is seldom fatal, it can be very serious and prolonged, particularly for women who are pregnant. Identifying the relapsing fever bacterium is done with a microscope and a blood sample. An antibiotic treatment is usually effective. <laughs> 